Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video will feature 55 years of blue tractors from Ford to New Holland, taking you from the 1960s all the way up to the modern machines of 2020. Ford began manufacturing tractors in October of 1917. The Fordson tractor, just like the Ford Model T car, was the first mass-produced tractor on the market and it made the tractor affordable for farmers around the world, selling for just $750. Henry Ford worked with Harry Ferguson to develop the Ford 9N tractor, which featured the industry's first three-point hitch when it was introduced in October of 1939. Ford continued to grow its tractor line, introducing the popular Red Belly Ford 8N, and tractors continued to grow through the 1940s into the 1950s. During this time period, all of the Ford tractors were painted gray and featured a red belly, and then entering the 1960s, the company changed from a red chassis to a blue one. In 1965, the company decided to introduce its line of worldwide tractors, the 1000 series, and the company introduced an all-new design painted in Ford Blue. For the past 55 years, blue has been the identifying color of Ford and New Holland tractors. In 1986, the New Holland name became associated with Ford when the company acquired Sperry New Holland, the well-known hay and forge and combine producer. New Holland was a well-known brand name producing a popular line of hay tools including mowers, rakes, and balers, as well as forge harvesters, manure spreaders, and introduced the industry's first rotary combine with a twin rotor TR70 back in 1975. Sperry New Holland became the first $1 billion short line. The sales of hay equipment, spreaders, skid steers, and combines actually outsold a full tractor line like Alice Chalmers in 1979 that produced tractors, implements, and combines. When Ford Motors acquired Sperry Rand's New Holland Agriculture Division in 1986, the combined Ford New Holland Company automatically became the third largest producer of agriculture farm machines in the world. In 1987, the company further expanded its sales by acquiring the versatile four-wheel drive tractor company of Canada. In 1991, Ford Motors decided it wanted to focus on its car and truck production and sold the Ford New Holland Agriculture Division to Fiat of Turin, Italy. Fiat is well known for its cars, but the company has been producing tractors since 1919. Fiat entered the United States agricultural market in 1978 with the acquisition of Heston and began to import its tractors under the Heston name to the U.S. market through the 1980s. In 1991, with the acquisition of Ford New Holland, the Heston brand was spun off and acquired by Agco, and Fiat was able to use the Ford New Holland name through model year 1996, when the blue tractors simply became known as New Holland. In 1999, Fiat acquired the Case Corporation, which produces Case Ides tractors and farm equipment and Case construction machinery. The company has continued to grow and is the second largest farm equipment producer in the world, and New Holland is a major part of CNH Industrial. In this video, we're going to follow the growth and development of tractors from a 1965 Ford 2000 all the way to a model year 2020 New Holland T8 435 tractor. I hope that you'll enjoy seeing all this blue machinery and its evolution over the past five decades.
enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing some of the great blue tractors that have been at work in the fields over the past 55 years from the Ford machines of the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and early 90s, and the great New Holland machines of the 21st century. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well, so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. Music